Aether be inside? Poking around's not gonna be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but- Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes. You are known to us. I am Dekka, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's... there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. All right, let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room, at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the Ten. Come, you have soldier in the Fleet Ten. It's glitched, incomplete. The Ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. For the Chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. During their war, the Ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. Ten claimed Ten seized the desert. Others the raging sand. Their soldiers battling enemy lines. What's this one about? The ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat, a land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the desert clan does the same. You must have passed through their territory on the way here. I did. They sound a little... extreme. They take that as a compliment. in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. Hey, Outlander! 
This writing. Said that relic you wear can hear the voice of the old ones. Is this true? I think it was left behind by Marshal Fashov. You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I'm ready. Good. Come. See you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. And a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of marshals slain. I count hundreds more Tanakh, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way 
might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition, but since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Cool Root. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stonecrest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised. If you succeed, speak to Deca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Ancient device plays the audio from flight recorders. Hikaro said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. I'd better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. It'll be faster if I ride a machine. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given rite of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. Hair like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda. Champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. This must be Stonecrest. Catalo should be waiting for me, but maybe I should look around first. Outlander, where's Catalo? This is your chance to trade. What's he looking at? This valley is infested with Regala's rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. And we should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. <sighs> so
So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Regala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get this over with. On me. Champion. How would you convince Dakota to send his challengers? I wouldn't. Come on. To not respect a blade and the strength of the fighter who wields it. What is anyone who likes that? Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's have a long come to that. Hmm. So this whole valley is the Sky Clan's territory? Yes. The clan has defended it for generations. Against who? The other Tanakh clans. Even the Karja long ago. What's the lead? Those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Takote won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a false sense of safety there. More rebels in the clear. Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Dakota realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. 
If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. To see his pride ruin. Okay, well... Maybe we can change his mind. Here it is. The bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. Marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, Marshal. I'll send the lift for you. Again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. <laughs> 